check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. Well, that Vince McMahon deal's coming out. It's titled Mr. McMahon. This was a Netflix documentary that started in 2020. That's when development began. It's taken almost five years. And they worked on it. And Vince was uh, Vince was initially, I mean, he was part of it. And you know what he, you know what you know what, you know how that Vince operates. He'll say, "I want it to be fair. I want it to be the good and the bad." Kind of like how, you know, back in the day, he would he would tell people like, "I want you to, I want you to fight me on things." But then, of course, when you did, he would be really angry about it. He would say one thing, but then. Is that surprising? But anyway, uh, then everything went down, and now he's gone. And so everything got put on hold because I got to figure out what to do. So now we're going to get it. Docuseries available on Netflix Wednesday, September 25th. Evolving along the way. Oh, it sure did. <laughs> Six one-hour episodes produced by Bill Simmons and Tiger King executive uh, producer Chris Smith. Poster for the series describes McMahon as both a mastermind and a madman. It says, Mr. McMahon chronicles the rise and fall of Vince McMahon, controversial businessman and co-founder of WWE, from his transformation of the WWE from a small regional business into a global entertainment powerhouse to the explosive sexual misconduct allegations that led to his eventual resignation. His resignation. Six-episode series offers a deep dive into McMahon's life and his enduring franchise. 200 hours of interviews... With McMahon himself prior to his resignation, family members, business associates, some of the most iconic names in wrestling history, journalists, etc. So, we'll see. We'll see about this documentary. I mean, it could be great. It could be terrible. Could be in the, in the middle. I know that's, you know, real shocking. <laughs> but I mean, and honestly, it could be. This could be one of the best documentaries ever. Since half of it was done after he was ousted and had absolutely no control over it whatsoever, it could be terrible. You know, it could be just a bunch of BS and et cetera. It could be somewhere in the middle. If I had to, if I had to make my guess, I'd say probably somewhere in the middle, but we shall see. What day does this debut on? September something or other. Is that a wrestling 25th. Observer? Is that a wrestling observer radio well, day? Well, brother, it's going to be six weeks, so it's going to be... I may retire before then. But yeah, that's it. You know what else coming up in September? The that? CMLL 91st anniversary show with the debut of Orange Cassidy. He's been added to the event. Orange Cassidy gets to work Arena Mexico. Seems like it's a good, very good fit. Yes. Him and Rocky and Satoshi Kojima versus Volador Jr., Atlantis Jr., and Ultimo Guerrero. So, yeah. Chris Jericho will make his return. He'll take on Mystico on that show. And, uh, yeah, not the first time we have seen AW stars in Arena Mexico. Now it's the place to be. Everybody wants to go. So, Orange Cassidy, next on the list. Did you ever want to wrestle in Mexico? Was I don't even want to travel to Mexico. <laughs> I had Mexico come to me. I once wrestled Los Vianos. That's true. Yeah, for the for the uh, UWA tag team titles. Couldn't put it on my resume. Didn't win. Who were your partners in that one? Uh, it was only one of the uh, Vianos was deceased, Mike, so it was a tag match. Mm. Yeah. Can't remember who my partner was, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> I didn't care about him. I cared about the Vianos. <laughs> Might have been Matt Farmer, for all I know. I don't think it was, though. God, who was my partner in that match? How do you say potato in Spanish? Potato. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> when he was planning to come out of retirement for one final match, Mick Foley considered MJF being his opponent. He was considering having one last match for his 60th birthday in 2025, but he suffered a concussion while only doing light training. Decided that ain't happening. He stated that if he had gone through with the idea... He probably would have chosen MJF. When I was thinking of having that last match, I'll tell you what. When I announced the intention, there was no shortage of people from every promotion reaching out to me. 
and one guy I probably would have gone with because he'd clearly done some thinking about it, and lined out six great weeks of TV, was MJF. That sounds like MJF. <laughs> we didn't take a photo together because we didn't want to like ruin a secret meeting, but I heard that he had to say I really liked it. I heard what he had to say. I had no doubt we would have pulled it off perfectly. He's so good and in his prime. I hope he's not in his prime. He's only like 26. He could have worked around my weaknesses, played to my strengths. I think we could have done something pretty cool. MJF, final answer. But uh, not looking good. So six weeks of TV for AEW, or could this have been for anybody? Could they have had their own Netflix series, Mick Foley's last match with MJF? Yeah. I don't know. Don't think he's having that match. Mm. I don't know how the match would have been, but the microphone battle would have been pretty darn good. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, AEW has announced a date for the taping of Battle of the Belts. 12. Hopefully we'll have some title matches on this one. When is this? Taped alongside Collision October 17th, Stockton, California. The uh, They have a promotional poster with names on it, but it's kind of like a... It's for a collision and battle of the belt, so it doesn't really tell you anything, but... Are there any hey, at least champions listed? I gotta say, the last battle of the belts, we did have a tag team title change. That six-man tag team title change. With Dustin and the Von Eriks beating the Undisputed Kingdom. And then we also had uh, three non-title matches in Battle of the Belts for that show. So... I hey. hope that part of my request for this next WBD deal is no more Battle of the Belts. Mm. Yeah, well, I think you're going to have more Battle of the Belts, to be honest. Super. So, uh... Why? <laughs> oh, this person why? here says, why is the Vienna's match not on cage match? Let me tell you something, everybody. Does anybody know when cage match actually, like, started? How old is it? How old is like Cage Match? Mid mid aughts, like the two thousand somewhere in the two thousands. I would assume so. Okay, well, I I started wrestling. If you don't count the YWF, which now I do after I saw how some people have counted some of their career, but if you don't count it, which some people would not, then I debuted in ninety eight. Do you know how many matches of mine are not on Cage Match? I mean, literally, probably over a hundred. So, no, it's not on cage match. Is along it, with is, is it many, in the many, database? many other matches. I How doubt it. Who, I got to look. On the wrestler pages. How many matches does it have for me on cage match? I don't know. It's one of the irritating things about cage match. How many of those matches did you win? I, I uh, well, it depends on who was wrestling. Tim Flower, zero. <laughs> Buddy, mini. <laughs> Let's see what it says. I'm sure Orange Cassidy's there. Maybe not. <laughs> my Wikipedia has a thing about my career, and, like, it just ends in, like, I forget what year it was, but it doesn't have any of the stuff that I did, like... Uh, as soon as the site started? <laughs> it, 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 it uh, ends the week that... Um, I forget the match it was. We, it, we Actually, you want to know? I, th I think um, there was a match WrestleMania weekend that didn't happen. It ends with a bunch of matches that didn't happen, actually. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of matches I almost had, but I didn't. I almost had Brian Danielson. I almost had Marty Jannetty. I almost had Ethan Page. Ethan Page. I remember that. Yeah, but I, I didn't end up with him. Whatever. I actually should be happy you didn't end up with Marty Jannetty. That could have been something. Oh, that would have been something all right. And looking at the Lucha I'd have done database, it. Brian Danielson on there, beautiful Brian Alvarez is not. Well, it wouldn't be beautiful Brian Alvarez. What was your lucha name? Oh, my lucha name? I was I was just me. Try Chico Alvarez. Let's see how many matches it says. I'll let you know after the break. 75! Back in a moment, Observer Live. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers 
at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.